So now we have this thing today. So this bound piece, right. Inspired by Rene, it was inspired by New Orleans, inspired by Rene, it's called actually Rebirth Transmutation. This is 2016, this is Herbert Cardi in the studio, the cube, the center of the building known as... Uh, crossroads. The crossroads, the tracks. And, um, so this beast has been struggling for the last three years. Now this is more than... It's called rebirth transmutation, and this came today in the mail, wrapped in this. This is all affirm affirmative work. I've been living as a Latin for three years, getting affirmative work. And the bones of innocent dead, my medium tools, weapons, if you will. Remember this for me, madame. My mind is unreliable right now. My heart is my mind in, in darkness. In this darkness, my life. So that's when I was in the sensory deprivation chamber, right? Mm -hmm. And Tasha Robbins kept staying in contact. So these are five, well, four skulls, but five dead carcasses, horses. And the whole project was about the fifth horseman of the apocalypse. Now this is what happened to me. <clears throat> to be the fifth horseman of the apocalypse, this is intellectual property of Sherry the mm -hmm. <clears throat> Post-biblical intellectual property. And the, the fifth horseman of the apocalypse, it's, it's still a sculpture of progress. And this is my problem all the ways in the, in the multimedia world. I'm doing a sculpture called something. And then the poet would steal the name of that sculpture and the sculpture itself would lose validity because it became as part of someone else's poem. Did you see my conundrum? It takes me two years to finish a sculpture. It takes them 20 minutes to take the title of that sculpture and turn it into a poem. It, my, my, my conundrum with time, uh, invection between scriatori, a, a combustion of creation and medieval fucking concept to NASA and, and the, the one zero, you know. So that was it, it was the fifth horseman, it was, uh, 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 you sit on it and uh, mm -hmm. his wings go out, the wings are under the table there, they're all made of bones off the wall. And uh, it says, uh, you have, uh, You have been weighed, you have been judged, and you've been... Uh, Found wanting. Found wanting. <laughs> That's what's on the stage. Yeah. That was in that solo for 18 months. I sat on it every fucking day like a lunatic. Right. So that's why I can't show you this without showing you all of this. You see the fucked up in this <laughs> I could if I was more disciplined, but it's not the way it flows. It's all part of one living, breathing universe here. Living and yeah. And uh, it's a pity they've all gone so psycho corporate in their minds. Little molecules of corporateness. Tiny corporations walking around. <laughs> Tiny, whiny, molecular corporations. <laughs> See this one up here? It's actually very naive at the moment, which is grand. I love that. I need to tighten it up. I want to bring it more glow. The one in the middle? Yeah, the one with the penguin. Right. That used to be a black penguin outside a penguin, well, but, but black because of the shadow, but, but it was actually a bronze penguin that was covered in dirt. And it was a pawn shop on Elysian Fields, and that was the first thing to go after the storm. It was a fucking huge bronze penguin. And then we, I did this painting, and Tasha did, I did a charcoal initially, and Tasha did a painting, and then I followed up with this 10 years later. And it's called Why That Flood? The penguin's a bit gawky. So I want to rub him out and start again. I don't like the angle of it. Mm -hmm. 
But that, that was one of my first inspirations in New Orleans, was why not fly? Tongue in cheek. And then the phoenix coming down, that has to be mooted into a golden cloud. So there's a lot of work to do on that one. Right? And again, the theme of the phoenix escaping from its own cage. I mean, it's come from Ireland to here, it's ridiculous. That's my father's back window in the house. So it's not like, it's only on fart. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a continuum of shape. And this one is the body of work that I need to work on now. Right. That's going to be the transcription from poetry to numbers to everything. It's got all, all the mathematical equations. And then when I discovered the Eye of Horus and the face of Ra through the Eye of Horus uh, by Tath Trath, wow, that was electric. I mean, I, I, I think I had a little seizure and wet myself when I discovered it. <laughs> It was beautiful. And then it all opened up the pituitary, so I started studying Western scientists. I got excited, excited about Arabic numbers and, of course, astrology. And I went back to Kepler's sounds and the planets and the Far East. And what was the meaning of I, I, oh, you? And then it turned into sounds of Mahasadra, Swadishana, Hara, Manipura, Nahata, Vashuda, Anjaya, Sahasadra. And and this is what I was doing with my rhythms, the sounds of the ancients. And this is just a drawing. This is, and then the planets in alignment with the sounds. And the pi of five. And this is joke. This silhouette of you know platonic shape. Leonardo, uh, um, you know, my properties. You're an asshole, Leonardo. It shouldn't have been the Vitruvian man, it should have been the, the Mona Lisa in drag. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so that has been a long journey this day. Yeah, well, I wanted to do a watercolour, but, but, but eight, eight foot watercolour, and it didn't quite make it. It got attacked with insanity and sharpies and pencils and what have you. And so I went back to basic geometry, the shape of the planet. That was the end of the breakdown. This was mapping my madness. And it was uh, the Oya Harris and the mustard seed and the invisible and the indivisible uh, are in the, you know, from the, from the visible. And the human heartbeat is the same rhythm. That's what I fucking got from the other When I, f that was a beautiful discovery. I went mad that day. I really, uh, I felt the epiphany of the human heartbeat having the same rhythm as our solar system. I can feel all the planets out to your anus. <laughs> that was Monty Python's me. But been, so this has been two or three years of slow self-torture through the old languages. Um, and then the brain exploding. It's like a fucking a meteor coming down to the heart. That way I, saw, I remember doing that orange thing. And it just lay pain and lay pain and lay pain. Oh, and then it was a pile of pain. And dried up. It looked like a meteor flying off the desk. So I cut it off a piece of blotting paper. And I stuck it right going through the black heart. And then uh, all the intellectual shit. And the floating away and the numbers. And the binary. And the liquid cold, cold arms. This is a big study, you know. I, I, I can spend the rest of my life just working with this motherfucker alone. You know? God. 
Oh, hey, Herbie. So that's I think I would, that's something is it? Can we get something? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it now. Okay. Fair play. All right.